I ran up a check, I might do it again Enemies close, had me thinking they're friends Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my hands Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the wins I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend If I do it once, I do it again Add it up, add it up. bankroll, bankroll. Euro. Euro, peso, peso. Add, it up. add it up I'm just doing me, everything is on me Oh, you matter what? Yeah. Add it up, add it up. Me. Everything is on me, gon' back it up Matter what? Told you I'ma do me, why you hating on me? It's not adding up I do roll like a Mack truck Country heart, I'ma cop a farm and go act up Lot of scars, I was cold hearted, now I'm backed up Keep it real, I do this once a month, I don't rap much I just take the money and go stack What's up guys? So, today we are gonna be finally installing the Lighting Trends DRL board Set up for the Challenger right here Already got the hood up. Now we're gonna start by removing all this front fascia. So we gotta take this off, this whole thing, take these off and then take the headlights out. There's a feeling. So I think we're finally ready to remove the front bumper assembly. So in here, there is a, you can't really see it, but there's one bolt that's right here and one bolt that's right here. Then you got to take off another bolt that's right here. Six clips up here. And then there are one, two, three, four, five, Five clips here. You could take out the entire wheel liner up here. Oh, 100% we missed something. Kind of trying to tug on it. <gasps> oh! oh, there you go. Or something. Oh, okay. there we go. Woo! All right. Oof, there it is. Cool. I got this on. All right, so bumpers off. The wiring harness, if you have never done this, which we have not, the wiring harness connector is on the passenger side um, right here, okay? So, and that connects underneath the washer fluid reservoir right there. Unplug it and the whole bump comes off underneath here. I forgot to tell you there's one two three four five six seven eight nine Yeah, nine of them they have to take off because the this part right here goes in between the lip and the actual bumper plastic so Something cool we did figure out while disassembling is that we have these cool Oracle 4000 lumen LED lights. Sadly saying that they effing suck. So essentially, 
we're going to be replacing these chipboards right here on the top of these to you use the existing halo tube to put the light through right all right so the oven's ready So we're going to have to get a lot of this stuff out because it is the Permatex seal. Um, yeah, bust up your lights pretty good. Um, I feel like the other sealant would be better. But now we're going to take off these, these little plastic rings right here because that's the little board we're taking out along with that one. So wish us luck. Uh, we haven't picked up the camera in probably a good two hours. But we have completed installation of the actual LED boards into this light fixture and put the shit back together. Now, the only thing that we had to modify was right here. You can tell I just kind of ground it out. It's not super clean, but the little paste right here that covers the, whoop, here we go, that covers the actual wire ends on the harness is a little fat so it sticks underneath there and this one if you see it's supposed to cover it completely down here so we had to modify that a little bit which means since i'm stupid i have a, all this toolbox right here i had to go buy a freaking dremel at walmart a little cordless one which i mean for 24 bucks comes pretty much fully charged a little sander disc we just ground that down a little bit now we did try it out not gonna let you see it till the end because I'm kind of a douchebag like that. We ran a few wires, so we ran it to the always hot battery post right here, which seemed to work pretty good. And we ran it underneath right there and came out there. And then we hooked the ground right there to those ground studs. Now that's what I would suggest doing because you're not gonna have any daytime running lights anyway. The only other thing we need to do is this wire right here. You can't see it. Is that wire right there needs to be hooked to ground. And this yellow one says turn signal on the instructions. I don't really know what that means, but as long as it has ground, everything works. For right now, we're gonna tuck the Bluetooth controller right here underneath. Bam, can't even see it. And then this wire is all going to be bunched up, heat shrinked and everything. So for now, we're waiting for Tasha to finish up scraping some stuff off the housing. And I'm about to start putting stuff back together for this headlight and seeing where I want to mount everything. But we're going to pick the camera up again and get the first one kind of done. What's up, guys? So it is another day. As you can see, we put the Challenger kind of back. Out of, out, of, out of the garage a little bit and we got this light here all back kind of just sitting in here it's connected to this pipe so it can't go anywhere the wiring's all down in there which will all be covered up you can see that's literally it and our blinkers do work and we'll show you guys what we are going to do on the other light so that way y'all can kind of see the turn signal light that is attached to, where's the other harness at? This? Yep, that. So basically what you gotta do is you gotta splice this yellow cable for the turn signal, which is optional, you don't have to do it, into the main turn signal power on the actual harness, which should be the same on most of these Mopars, I guess, Charger Challenger. It is the, if you're looking at the pin like this with the connector um, lock right there, it's the one, two, three, fourth one over, the black and gray wire, and it's the same on the other side. You literally just got to get some of the tape off the harness right there, um, back here, and then cut the wire in half, <laughs> and then you just got to solder in the yellow wire which the harness is pretty long so this will sit like back here when the lights in so you'll have a ground up there you'll have a ground right here for your 
what do you call it your driver and you'll be able to connect the power here and it should be pretty easy you will have to run maybe a longer ground wire just because if you put power here you can't get the little ground wire you see they're kind of short and that way you don't have to mess with this harness so i'm going to cut this little thing back off of here and run a ground a ground easier than trying to get more power wire so all right we're gonna bake the other headlight right now get it going get it open get it worked on and then while that's kind of baking i'm gonna start doing this part right here so i'm gonna go disconnect the battery which is in the back it's so convenient disconnect the battery again So quick pause in the time lapse. Here we have two gray and white wires right next to each other. So I'm gonna have to double check to make sure I cut the right one. <laughs> Not to mention, you know, they go all the way up in the harness. So I'm gonna have to strip this whole piece of insulation. Um, on the other side, there was only one gray and black wire. It was the fourth one from the end right here, looking at the connector like this. So I'm gonna double check that real quick and then we'll go from there. All right, so we got the one light there hooked up. That one's all done. And 
Everything seems to be working. So we're just going to put the lens on that one. This one's all done with the lens. It looks stock. Can't even tell. Other than the fact that they're different colors. So, yeah. You guys kind of watch me put this one, take it apart and put it together. You can tell, like, it, literally just this part had to be modified a little bit on both sides to fit the, over the glue. Other than that, looks stock to me. You'll never know. And we got three blinkers now, so that's cool. So it's all integrated into the car's functions. I did stab myself with a screwdriver. We're about to be done with that, so we're going to remove that and stick it back together. Hell yeah. We are finally, finally done with the car. As you can see, it's all back together. All the plastic's back on. You can barely see some wiring down in there. I don't have a light. That's all right. You don't need to see it. But this right here is probably my favorite spot. You can see the little ballast down there and stuff, but really, unless you're looking in there, you can't see anything except the little ground and the power and stuff like that. Something else I want to tell you guys about. Today's video is sponsored by Car Sponsors. Nice out of my GoPro. Today's video is sponsored by Car Sponsors, and there is an agency that helps you get awesome sponsorships. They sent us this Lighting Trends DRL board kit with a Bluetooth controller for free. So I'm going to show you guys the website as it would look to me. Bam. Sorry, it's kind of in... Uh, so, up here... You just have basically like your links in your pages. Then you have a search bar. You can jump to sponsors. Here's some of the sponsors. Oh, and there's a shit box. Yay. So you're also able to upload photos so sponsors can see it and everything. And then here's the featured sponsors and the new sponsors. So I have the pro membership, so everything pops up. Um, let's see what else I want to talk about. Oh, here's the featured sponsors. We got Tough Truck Parts, Slick Products. Slick Products is always on here. Mountain Fire Wheels is always on here. Pedal Commander. It's another one. They sent us one of those for free and sponsored that 100% just because we work together. Yellow Speed Racing. Uh, Luxus Car Mats. There's a lot of stuff on here, guys. So, the other cool thing is the cash sponsorships, right? So, sometimes they'll give you a sponsorship that, you know, the company itself gives you 10%. Then you can get a little bit more back once you install and you send pictures. You can get a little bit more. You can become a sponsor rep, just like me. And you can also recommend people to join. When they join, you get 50% or you can get a... 100% of a membership referral towards a product from one of your sponsors that you've requested a full sponsorship from. So, uh, let's see, instant cash. Instant cash stuff. You can go to car shows and get a, your money back for the entry fee, stuff like that. Sorry, this is gonna be kind of a long plug. Here we go. You can refer a sponsor, like a company that's not on this website yet can attend car shows you can get up to fifty dollars cash back per show so they'll re reimburse up to a hundred dollars for expensive um if you just attend the show you can get up to fifty dollars so now when you go to the shows obviously you know i do a little vlog i walk around talk to some people i also attend a show with a vehicle and I put the stickers on the back. Um, they do not have any like sticker stickers, but I'll show you what ours looks like. I just made it. So obviously then people ask, oh, what's car sponsors, you know? You just talk to them about it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, this video today of everything that we've done over the last probably three days. I wanted to take my time to do it correctly. And as you can see, 
you would never know that, you know, anything's even done to the car. Looks completely stock. We hooked every wire up, everything correctly, sealed back up. It was a pretty easy process. I wouldn't say it was the easiest thing I've ever done, just because you have to take off the whole front bumper, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. We are going on a trip to a wedding, so I will not be uploading over the next like week or so because we'll be in New Hampshire. I don't have any car stuff to do. So we'll see you guys in about a week. Thanks for watching. I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my hands. Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the wins. I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up, bankroll, bankroll, euro, euro, peso, peso, add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Me. Everything is on me, gon' back it up Matter what? Told you I'ma do me, why you hating on me? It's not adding up I do roll like a Mack truck, country heart, I'm a cup of fur